Greer with an open pocket finds Sills. Sills down the middle of the field takes it across the 40. Greer comes near side, makes the pass to Jennings down the sideline, and Jennings with that strength able to drag. Garrett Wallow. One of those GMs at the NFL level, they're going to love this kid. Well, Greer on first down, completes the pass to one of his tight ends, Giovanni Haskins. Greer will swing the pass out and complete it to Kennedy McCoy. It's almost 492 yards per game, 12th in the country. And that's to Sills down the sideline. I mean, those two guys combine on a route, and now they get it to Sills again. Greer dumps it off to Petaway, and Petaway will take it across midfield. Greer, he can call the play, so they give him a lot of room to make adjustments in-game and during plays. Greer, the pump fake, wide open, tight end, West go touchdown, 32 yards. Big guy that can button press and get him between that quarterback's face. And how about this pass? The completion to Marcus Sims. Wow! On second and ten. Pass of the middle. Wesco. And Wesco gets tackled at the ten-yard line. Between these two, the non-verbal communication, they're always on the same page. The crossing route to Jennings to the end zone. It's about the gauntlet that has been November for West Virginia as Wesco takes that quick pass from Greer. Their confidence, coaches, players, it's not a cocky confidence, but they're extremely confident in the way they play and the way they're led by their senior guys. And how about that throw and catch? I don't know how Greer fit that in. Underneath their, their knees, just to signal that guy and make sure they're on the same page. There you see it. And there it is, the touchdown to David Sills. You're waiting for that to happen.